In the last episode, we saw the action being removed. Not much has been documented about pianos of a couple of hundred years old. Much about its construction has to be found in the piano itself. That's why old strings are never thrown out just like that, even if they are not the original ones. Johan removes and measures them one by one. Because they are very rusty, they are carefully sanded before measuring. Now the original thickness can be established. All the found data is stored in the computer, recording each string's thickness and length in an Excel sheet. Piano strings sound best when strained to the max. In other words, to the extent of just not snapping. This tension is shown in this chart. String thicknesses, string lengths, string tension and string power before and after restoration are recorded here. This book is about the Viennese instruments of 1780 up to 1820, in which Michael Letcham recorded the stringing and the pitch in which the instruments are tuned. And here see you then the same numbers that are also on the soundboard. These are the numbers that are found on the soundboard. Furthermore, Michael Letcham has recorded the thicknesses of the strings of six different instruments of the period. That helps to determine what string thicknesses are to be used on this instrument. This shows how the string length, which is the sounding length, has decreased due to the deformation of the piano. The right cheek is warped, and that is why, on the treble, the part of the high notes, the string have become shorter. All hitch pins to which the strings are attached are being removed one by one. These hitch pins will also be reused, just like all the other original parts.